Hello Bloomington, I'm Mayor Tim Bussey, and this is the Council Minute for the first week of September. This week, the City Council had a study session and the primary topic of discussion was the 2021 budget. If you've been following what's happening at the City, we have a historic budget challenge this year due to the economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. The impact of the pandemic on the entertainment, hospitality, and travel industries has had an enormous impact on the City of Bloomington's finances. Nearly 13% of the city's general fund budget, that's over $10 million, comes from taxes collected at hotels and entertainment venues. We expect next year that we will probably receive less than half that amount to, due to the decline in tourism and the almost complete absence of business-related travel. That loss of revenue is going to create some hard choices about what city services we can continue to afford. To help provide a resident perspective on budget choices and to get the voice of the community involved, we created a community budget advisory committee to make recommendations to the City Council related to the 2021 City Budget. This week, the co-chair of the community budget advisory committee presented the committee's recommendation to the City Council regarding the preliminary levy. Now, before talking about the recommendation, it's good to explain what the preliminary levy is. Like every city in Minnesota, the City of Bloomington is required to set a preliminary levy in September of each year. This sets the maximum amount of property taxes that can be collected for 2021. Think of it as the starting point for considering our options because staff, the committee, and the City Council will continue working on the budget through the end of this year. But setting the preliminary levy is an important step because that's the number that gets mailed to you in November in the proposed notice of taxation or what is sometimes referred to as the truth in taxation notice. When the final budget for the coming year is adopted in December, we can reduce the levy from what was proposed, but we can't increase it. The Budget Advisory Committee recommended that the City Council adopt a 6.4% tax levy increase. In real dollars, for the median value homeowner in our community, that would be an annual increase of $60 or $5 a month. Now, as I said before, that's the highest the committee thinks the Council should go with the preliminary levy. Even in the worst case budget forecasting scenario, that would mean a cut of several hundred thousand dollars in the city budget. However, the committee is not likely to recommend that amount as a final levy. They've asked staff to prepare levy increase options at 1%, 3%, and 5%. And in discussing this approach with the co-chair of the committee, the city council asked that a 0% levy increase also be considered. The council then spent some time talking about the recommendation for the preliminary levy and where we wanted to land. In the end, the council directed staff to prepare two options, the committee recommendation of 6.4% and a lower option of 5%. The city council will take action on September 14th to set the preliminary levy. No matter where we land on the preliminary levy, we know that in the end that we will be reducing the budget by somewhere between one and four million dollars. And that means that there will be significant cuts in Bloomington City services. So continue paying attention to this really important conversation and look for opportunities coming later this month and in October to provide your input on those decisions. Staff from across our community, led by Bloomington Public Health, coordinated a COVID-19 testing event at Kennedy High School this week. We met our goal to test nearly 1,200 residents. And in fact, the exact number was 1,195 people from Bloomington Edina and Richfield. We were able to move so many people through this one day event at Kennedy because of highly efficient drive through and walk up testing lanes. Approximately 100 total staff from the city and our community partner organizations served in a variety of roles such as testing assistants, interpreters, registration staff, logistics personnel, and more. Hats off to our outstanding team in public health and to our event partners. Those partners include Parents and Community Action or Head Start. Bloomington Public Schools, the State Emergency Operations Center, Children's Minnesota, the Minnesota Department of Health, and the cities of Edina and Richfield. Finally today, I want to offer my heartfelt and sincere best wishes to everyone in Bloomington who is headed back to school. Whether you're part of K-12 or post-secondary education, if you're going back to in-person, hybrid, or fully distance learning, if you're a teacher, a parent, administrator, staff, or of course, if you are a student, I want you to know that I'm rooting for you. All of Bloomington is rooting for you to have a successful school year and for you to stay healthy and safe. 
I know there has been a robust community discussion about what to do this fall, and it's abundantly clear that there is no perfect solution to this incredibly complex situation. If there has ever been a more vexing, darned if you do, darned if you don't decision, I can't think of one. Since March, we've all been required to make hard choices and to take on difficult issues that we really would rather not have to do. But we do it. And whether it's a personal decision or a public policy decision, we make the best decisions we can based on the best information we have at the time. COVID-19 has upended every aspect of our lives over the past nine months. The perseverance I see every day in our healthcare professionals, in our first responders and our critical workers, and now the perseverance being shown by our students and families and teachers, folks, it's inspiring. I know it's been a long slog, but we need to keep up the good work. This is a critical time for our young people in Bloomington and a critical time for our entire community. Making it through this school year successfully is going to require everybody to pitch in, whether you have kids in school or not. Everyone needs to mask up. Don't let your guard down on social interactions. Support each other. Be there for your neighbor. We all need to step up. Students, teachers, families, you've already stepped up. Thank you. Thank you for your great work. Please keep it up. And best of luck this school year. That'll do it for the Council Minute. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend, and until next time, be well and stay safe, Bloomington.